Hi, Chris. Can you quite believe that in an era when we've got this much technology, there's never been more technology in the game that something as basic as this, you expect the goal line ones to be 100%, don't you? I'd expect that decision to be given on Grace Park P17, Rob, down the hill on a on a uh, on a, uh, a, a, a murky, uh, foggy Sunday Sunday morning. I'd expect it. It was in the old end, Rob. The goalkeeper was in the old end. It was about eight eight rows back. It'd have been it'd have been it'd have been mullered by punters if punters were in there. He was in the old end, and everybody knew it. Everybody saw it. Everybody felt it. Everybody. Um, all 300 of us. <laughs> Chris, is it challenging the integrity of the game a little bit? We've had all this drama with VAR before the lockdown, and now in the first game back, we have technology being the big talking point immediately afterwards again. Yeah, um, you can't, I can't, uh, I'll, I'll tell you something I, I did, uh, tongue in cheek said, after some of the decisions that have been given given against us uh, this year, I bet we're the first one that, 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 uh, that, that, Gets uh, gets a poor VAR decision. I just had it in, in, in you know, just had a, I don't know, just saying it. Pessimistic manager all the time, as always, always as we always are. Even though, uh, you know, we're uh, we're ambitious and and we're driven and we're motivated. We always feel sometimes, you know, uh, the worst things that might happen to us. And and certainly, and and it has technology. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, this is a decision that can't can't happen. And and from a serious point of view, you know, uh, and, and listen, if we are in and around where we want to be at the end of the season, I'm sure people will look back at this and go, wow, that was, you know, uh, a really, a really, 10 minutes, I keep saying 10 minutes, uh, to, even today, even today, Rob, um, these decisions and you just get, you, you get used to it now, you get used to a collision in the box, it's going to go up on the big screen. I think there was one first half where McGinn went over. I think there was an handball that he got checked. Uh, and you're just expecting it straight away. And you're expecting that decision to go to Stockley Park. And you're expecting to, well, hang on a minute, let's hang about a bit and see where, see where we get to. Let's make sure we get that right decision made. And, um, and we didn't. It just happened and quickly. And I felt, I've got to say, I felt really sorry for the two, the two main actors in it, which were, um, which were Michael Oliver and, and Chris Kavanagh. But quick final question for me: Is there any news on Jack O'Connell and John Fleck who are absent tonight? Yeah, huge blows for for, for both of those guys uh, to, to to be missing. Um, as I said, it's a difficult one from from my point of view. We can't. We're not a Man City or or, or one of these other superpower clubs that can, you know, pick the team at quarter quarter six. I didn't agree with the the, the nine the nine the five from nine. I think that's changed the integrity of uh, of the game mid season. Thought that was a poor decision. I think that favours the powerful clubs. Um, we haven't got, as I said, you know, not pleading poverty, just stating the absolute obvious. Um, we can't pick the team at um, at uh, a quarter five at Villa Park. We have to work on stuff. We have to organise stuff. We have to, you know, put plans in place to compete. Um, so that coming out was disappointing. Um, so thank the Sheffield United fan who, who thinks that's that's helping his football club. Well done, please for you. Um, but um, Jack missing and, and Flecky, you know, they've been a huge part of our team. Um, unfortunately, they were con the contact injuries. You know, they weren't soft tissue injuries. Um, and the commitment of both players, Flecky goes in for a challenge at Hull City in the last minute. You know, maybe I'm looking at him and thinking you can't do that, but. He trains and plays in that way, and that's taken him through his his, his, his period at Sheffield United. And Jack O'Connell collided with with Dean uh, on in the last minute of a of a, of, of a session um, on, on on Monday. So disappointing to lose both. I believe Flecky will be back for Sunday, um, and Jack were just waiting on. But I've got to say, I thought um, Jack Robinson's performance was uh, a real positive for us. I thought it was excellent, um, difficult position, different position for him. I thought it was uh, a bang average game. It is really difficult, I've got to say. Um, the supporters, um, as I've talked about, um, being in front of those, uh, even if today would have been 40, 40 odd thousand Villa fans breathing down the back of your neck, it doesn't still stop your motivation. But, and I'm not a, a, at times a sympathetic manager to, to, to players. 
Um, but it's a tough gig and it's going to be, we have to get through it um, for the reasons that we've talked about uh, from for more reasons to get this season finished, give somebody something to cheer about on the, on the TV and obviously from the financial point of view, especially at our football club. But, you know, um, I thought the game was very low low on quality. I thought they were the better, had the better chances. Uh, we had periods of it, they had periods of it, um, but um, it wasn't, speaking openly, honestly, I, I didn't think it was a great game and, and obviously for us to lose Flecky and Jack, two, two uh, extremely talented and, and important players for us was was um, was obviously a big blow for us as, as close as it was to kick off. Thanks, Chris. All the best. Cheers, Rob.